except for the four Gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, the books of the New Testament are mainly letters written to various individuals and churches. These writings are generally accepted by Christians as the genuine teachings of Christ. The book of Revelation bears the name of Jesus being called the Revelation of Jesus Christ. The book commenced with seven letters from Christ to the seven churches in Asia. These letters should be regarded with the highest reverence by all who profess to be obeying God. Jesus said, What you see and hear, write in a book, and send it to the seven churches which are in Asia. Unfortunately, these letters are almost always ignored. Most Christians are simply not listening to the life-saving warnings and predictions of Jesus. Although these letters were originally sent to the seven churches in Asia, they apply to seven prophetic periods of God's church, from the days of the apostles, until Jesus returned to this earth. Ephesus was the church of the apostles, lasting from 31 AD to 100 AD. During this time, the church at Ephesus expanded rapidly. Historians agree that there were over 6 million Christians throughout the empire during this period. Despite increasing persecution, the gospel spread like wildfire throughout the entire world. Jesus commended his followers that they hated the deeds of false teachers and did not surrender. He uttered a stern rebuke for those who deserted their first love for the faith. He promised those who overcome will eat of the tree of life. The period which Smyrna covered began around 100 AD to 325 AD. It was a time of terrible prosecution and martyrdom. The church was outlawed by the Roman Empire which attempted to eradicate every Christian from the earth. Many followers of Jesus Christ were beheaded, fed to wild beasts, burned at the stakes, slain with the sword, or crucified. Jesus encouraged believers to be rich in faith despite tribulations. Jesus gave no rebuke. He urged believers to be faithful unto death. Jesus said they would receive a crown of life and not be harmed by the second death. The church at Pergamos lasted from 325 AD to 538 AD. During this period, Christianity increased so rapidly that the state felt insecure. The Roman Emperor, Constantine, in a clever move to obtain a compromise, was baptized, and ordered his army to convert to Christianity. Because Pergamos was at the time the main town in the Roman province, pagan beliefs and practices crept into the church. Jesus rebuked his followers for allowing false teachings to flourish, namely the doctrine of Balaam and the Nicolaitans. There were compromised idolatry and immorality. Jesus demanded that they repent. He promised they would receive hidden manor, and a white stone with a new name. Thyatira, the longest period of the Seven Church Age, covered the time period between 538 AD and 1500 AD. This period is referred to in history as the Dark Ages, and was a time of cruel apostasy. Jesus pleaded for love, faith, patience, and good works. He reprimanded the church for permitting an evil woman, Jezebel, to corrupt the church. Jesus told believers to hold firm onto what truth they retained. He promised them power over the nations. Sardis embraced Christianity in the time between 1500 AD and 1750 AD. It was the period of the Reformation. Many spirit-filled individuals proclaimed powerful messages that shook the hearts of men and women everywhere. The Bible was elevated to the point of dedicated reverence again. Numerous reformers founded denominations that endured to this day. Unfortunately, Jesus said a number of them were defiled. Also, when many died, their followers departed from the truth. Jesus perceived the degrading conditions during this period and called their works dead. He warned them to be vigilant and strengthen what loyalty they retained. Jesus said they would receive a garment of righteousness, and their names kept in the book of life. The Philadelphia Church continued from 1750 AD to 1850 AD. It witnessed the beginning and expansion of missions and missionary work. It was a time of great revival preaching. 
As missionaries circled the globe, the study of the books of Daniel and Ezekiel expanded rapidly. Jesus commanded believers to keep the word and not deny him. He told them to hold firmly into faith. Jesus would strengthen them as he carried them through the hour of temptations. They will receive the name of God. Laodicea, which covered the period from 1850 AD to the present, is the church today. The warnings of Jesus to Laodicea is his advice to the church of our time. Jesus knows the spiritual famine in the church and offers his advice. Jesus told believers that they were lukewarm spiritually, poor, and naked. They were to secure gold purified in fire, to be zealous, and repent. There are three important points in the messages that Jesus emphasized. They were given to all the churches. The first is that Jesus knows the works of the believers. Second, he urged believers to overcome temptations. Third, all believers must listen to what the spirits say to the churches.